Hey everybody, thanks for checking in and Michael, good to see you. Thanks for being here to bear witness to the following. I'm gonna go ahead and screen share and this will be pretty self-explanatory, but the basic idea is this, as we develop the chrysalis calendar, I want for there to be a relatively simple color coding for um, what the different meetings on the chrysalis calendar uh, what the, it's kind of hard to put into words, but I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thinking about like this one key dimension where at one extreme, it's just all about heart and love and connection and compassion and welcoming people, right? Because most people aren't in this space that we're in. It's almost like we've gone through this wormhole to another dimension of this network of conversations and we see the future. We see where, where all this can take us. Um, but most people aren't there because they don't know about it. They don't really have any concept of it. And if they find themselves in one of these Zoom meetings, they kind of like, you know, it's almost like they don't have a context for it or a framework for it. So this extreme of heart and love and compassion and welcoming, you know, like what we were talking about at the last meeting on Monday, you know, welcome to Los Angeles. With you here, now it's perfect. Welcome to the Christmas. So we need that. We so we need this entry into the wormhole for the people who haven't experienced it yet. So that's at that one extreme. It's not just about welcoming them, but it's also about healing. So even someone who's been here for a while, but they're going through some trauma, some crisis, or whatever, they need to enter into a space of love. Okay, so that's one extreme. The other extreme, and you see, here's where I don't even know if this is a proper chunking out. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna screen share here, and I really appreciate you're just kind of going with the flow, Michael. You're demonstrating compassion and openness and all that. So anyway, here, let me just kind of put it in the following terms. You see this line I'm drawing here, right? I'm not even gonna mess around with colors right now, just because I'm kind of pressed for time. But I'm just gonna put the heart extreme here, and this other extreme here. I'm just gonna put zeros and ones, right? It's kind of like the extreme of data and information you know what i'm saying i'm just the, in other words this is just like just all about i'm just going to call it facts and data objective measurable facts da, 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 right because there's a place for this too right and i don't know and th this is just kind of coming to me and this is what i want to explore tomorrow starting in eight hours we're going to have our meeting and we're going to delve deep into this dimensioning i'm just going to call it i don't know love versus um i'll just call it data for lack of a better word <laughs> right these two extremes and then what i'm thinking is that between these two extremes and here i'm just going to kind of create a heart made of zeros and ones right so it's still mostly about the data right but it's also you know got this heart component <laughs> right and then um there's another one here which is anyway i'm just going to do a double heart for the one that's just full extreme and then one heart here and then a data heart and then full data anyway we'll, we'll mess around with this tomorrow but um this is just one dimension but guess what there might be another dimension that's totally orthogonal to this one. And then yet another, you know, and yet another, you know, so who's to say there's just one dimension. And this is part of the challenge is how do we, you know, how do we break this down um, so that we end up with this kind of color code, but here I kind of, that, that got a little busy. Let me, let me actually try to do it pictorially here. So here, you know, at this one extreme with color, you know, I'm just going to do a double heart. Like it's just all about heart and it's about us coming together in this heart realm. On using this color spectrum, I'm going to try to find like, I don't know, an orangish color and just do a single heart. Okay. And then, um, oh, here, let me show you this kind of cool thing that we can do is if we take, uh, let me just try this out. Like if you circle something, I'm using an iPad. If you draw a circle around something, then we're, we're able to say, hey, copy. 
And then I'm able to go down here and paste there, see? Um, and then I wonder if I can like shrink it or something. I can move it around. I can't really shrink it, but anyway, that's okay. So there's that. And then let me do the same thing with this data thing. Um, boop, do a circle around it and then copy. And then down here, I'm gonna do paste. Okay, so there's the spectrum. Now, what I would do here is this end of the spectrum down here, I would, I would make this like the blue end of the spectrum, right? From like red to blue, think like deep blue, like IBM deep blue. And then think of this one here as this data heart. It's still, it's, it's made of data, but it's in the shape of a heart. What if we made this like green? Right, so you see this, how this starts to take on like a spectrum kind of quality. And then here we are kind of neutral in the middle, right? Um, so red, blue are the two extremes, deep blue for just pure data, think IBM deep blue, double heart for red, it's like hearts coming together, it's just pure love. And then the orange is like, it's mostly in the love direction, but it's got a component of the other. And the green data, it's mostly in the data direction, but it's got a component of the of the heart, of the love. You see what I'm saying? So it kind of creates this spectrum. And then the middle is kind of like neutral white. Um, but then if you if you imagine a calendar then, right, you can imagine entries in the calendar. I'm just gonna rough it out. You know, so it's like if you see a, if you see an entry here that's red, you know that's all about love, and it's all about the love space, and that's all great. If you see another one that's orange, you know, oh, it's mostly about love, but it's also you know, got some data elements, some like analysis, some objectivity, whatever. And then if you see some blue stuff, you know what that's all about. Okay, got it. That's really mostly about the data, whatever, and green and all that. Okay, great. You get the idea. Okay. What if you see something that's white? What's that? Does that mean it's in the middle? Here's what I think. If you see stuff that's white, white means unspecified. Simply, simple as that, unspecified. It could be red, it could be blue. We just don't know. They just didn't take the time to specify it because let's face it, it's going to take some time to kind of, you know, for people to get used to this whole color scheme. But you see, I think one of the big barriers to entry to this whole space of the network of conversations and collective super intelligence that we're developing here is people don't know how to plug in, right? Think like the computer revolution in the in late 70s. That passed most people by completely. They just felt like totally outside of it. You know, it's like either inside or outside. Well, this revolution of collective superintelligence and the network of conversations, we need to bring everybody up to speed really quickly. So we need like a really simple color scheme. And that way people who are like, you know what, I'm lost, I don't really get this. There's a safe space, for, go to the red, go to the events that are just red, that are all about heart and compassion, because then you can come, you can even come in tears, you can come totally frustrated, because let's face it, there's a lot of unshed tears amongst us right now. There's so much frustration, we can't even put into words. So we need this safe space, truly safe, that's red, right? Now, yeah, then the if you want to- Yeah, of COVID, Topic of COVID can be a or it can be orange, it can be blue if it's real scientific medical, yeah. or it can be the real heart space. I've lost a friend. I've, I have a friend going into hospice. You know, it can be a nice mix. You can you can uh, gravitate to your thinking at that moment. Exactly, exactly. And so I would recommend to everyone enter into the heart space if that's where you're called to enter. Now somebody who's just like a scientist or something who's just all about data and all that, they may feel more comfortable entering in the blue space, right? <clears throat> Take like the proverbial scientist who's just not at all connected with his heart. They exist, right? And for whatever reason, either they were heartbroken or whatever, but they just gravitated towards the space of facts and data and the objective. And that's how they like to relate to other people, getting up on the whiteboard and, you know, getting into the data, right? Fine. Maybe that's their safe space, right? And so I would posit that people are probably, anyway, let's not try to 
segment people, but let's give them options and make it simple, color coded. White simply means nobody bothered to specify. So you simply don't know, right? It's like walking into some unknown restaurant or office or something somewhere in Manhattan that you just have no clue. You walk in, you don't know what the social norms are. So it's just, so white equals big question mark. Now, people like you and me, we're happy landing wherever and kind of going with the flow. It's kind of an interesting challenge. Gee, what is this new space going to be like? But um, anyway, I, I'm just really excited about chunking out this whole dimensionality. So now let me do another picture. And I'm going to have to jump off. There are people, people like you who are interdisciplinary, who can, uh, who can go, who can travel along all the whole spectrum. There are people who have those gifts. Well, thank you. Who thank will you. be interested in all subjects? You know, I, I, I appreciate that. Thank you. And and yes, absolutely. I I, I love that. I love the way you you put that. Um, so anyway, so you have the heart extreme. Then you have the orange, which is just a little bit to the left of that. You have the unknown, which is kind of the same color as the middle, but that's, you know, a little bit deceptive. Then you have the, you know, the that and then the, I'll just make it a square, <laughs> you know, that's all about the zeros and ones and all that it's pure data. Okay. So again, that's, but that's just one dimension. And that may not be the right way of forming this first dimension. I'm just saying, let's start with that. But then there might be another orthogonal dimension, right? Which is something else entirely. And then another, which is something else entirely, right? So it could be that we're just that this, these, this kind of four color theorem, right? And, um, and there's been some interesting stuff done around four colors, like any map can be drawn with four colors and no two color countries ever touch and that sort of thing. Anyway, so um, it could be that this is a good way to start, you know, with these two extremes, you know, love versus, you know, just, I don't know truth or, or you know, or, or the measurable because love really can't be measured right? Measurable is one thing versus unmeasurable, right? Anyway, they're, 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 and I'm not even finding the right words for it. I'm just kind of groping around. What do you, truth, measurable? What am I talking about? I don't know. I mean, we're just kind of groping, but I think we need to do a fair amount of groping in order to really find this color scheme. So tomorrow's meeting, if you had to guess, I, and, and this this isn't like, you don't feel like you need to answer, but if you had to guess, what is the color of tomorrow's meeting? That's gonna be on the chrysalis calendar, coming up with the color scheme, right? Chunk, you know, kind of- Yeah, well, I would say it'd be more green. I would say it'd be more green and orange. Yeah, in fact, the, the sub, you're absolutely right. It's going to be green because, the, and in fact, the subject of the email that I'm going to send out tonight is going to be called Code Green. Code Green, you know, designing the chrysalis calendar because we need to get objective about it. Even if you're talking about, you know, orange hearts and red hearts and, you know, we need to objectively figure out this color scheme and make it user-friendly and an interface and da, da 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 So it's mostly in the facts and data direction, but we need a healthy heart component to that. So code green, bingo, A plus. Anyway, with that, I'm gonna wrap it up because um, I gotta get to bed and get some sleep to be healthy and all that. But- um, Well, that, that'll be wonderful. That's very good, uh, very good visualization that will help all of us. So that's well done, sir. Thank you. And this is just a start. Now let's, you know, start with that. And then tomorrow, let's maybe even explore the other dimensions and all that. I think over time, we're going to get to get really sophisticated, right? Just think about, you know, an early use of messenger and all that, there was just smiling versus frowning. Well, now we've got hundreds of emojis for all different kinds of situations. So the word that comes to mind is distinctions, right? We'll develop more and more sophisticated distinctions. But 
for, for and for more and more purposes, all I've identified is I've said, listen, we need an easy way for people to come in and start to play and feel safe and all that. That's just one aspect, but there's so much, there's so much more. I feel like we're just scratching the surface of the chrysalis, the chrysalis calendar. And um, yeah, I sent, I sent, I sent Marco a couple examples of what may be included on the calendar. One is uh, Jackson Brown's brother, Severn Brown's uh, CD release party on Friday, the mm -hmm. 16th. Mm -hmm. Well, that would be uh, that would be more of a heart, like a red heart kind of content. Totally. totally. But totally. if it was a classical con, if it was a classical con concert with my friend William Marshall Bennett playing classical, that would be more of a blue uh, data uh, type almost. Sure. Or green, you know, anyway. Yeah, or green. Yeah. yeah. Really good stuff. But I like that. Under wonderful, wonderful. Love it. I also like so that. I'll let you I'll let you turn in. All right. Thanks so much. And I'll send this out to yeah, everyone. Thank get you. This. Appreciate you, bro. Hey, thanks so much. Yeah, anytime. Thank you. And thank see you all you for and thank you all for watching. All who have watched. Thanks so much. Okay. See you tomorrow.